track reviews. Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you're doing well, doing a quick track review here of the brand new collaborative cut from The Weeknd and Gustafel Stein, electronic music producer whose work I have covered before. He had a nice little single last year that was pretty amazing. So uh, Lost in the Fire, let's give it a shot. Uh, Ba-bam! <laughs> Uh, all right, all right. I'm just uh, not that impressed with this song, honestly. There's not really a whole lot to it. Um, I'm actually surprised at how closely in tone this track actually matches Starboy. Uh, it has a similarly throwback 80s retro synth pop, very nocturnal vibe to it. And the beat is cool. You know, it's kind of quirky. It's fun. Some kind of heavy roaring bass in the bass synth notes kind of ringing out into the 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 darkness of the mix on this thing um but everything on top of the production it's a mix of typical for Abel but also there are some elements to it that feel like he's a little outside of his element mostly the narrative of the track is kind of different for him I mean if you've been listening to the weekend up until this point you know that he is uh, the kind of guy who has every woman he could ever want and he's just like running through girls and doing all these drugs and, you know, he's that bad boy. But now on this track, he's like, uh, I kind of want to settle down. I want to have a baby with the right one because I could never uh, be someone to hide one, um, which a lot of people have been kind of citing as, oh, is that a Drake diss? Is that a shot at Drake? Is he dissing Drake on that one? And, and maybe he is. Maybe he's kind of taking a bit of a shot at Drake because uh, th there has been tension in that relationship for a long time. But uh, outside of that little Drake, that, that subtle Drake shot, uh, there's not really a whole lot to this track lyrically. I mean, he kind of expresses that, uh, oh, I can't lose you, but then also, oh, I hear you're into girls and uh, she can sit on your face and then I can uh, F you straight, da 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 And it's like, okay. Uh, <laughs> obviously, your devotion can't run that deep or, you know, uh, you're, you're clearly not trying to be monogamous or anything right now. And hey, you know, you can be in whatever kind of relationship you want to be in as long as you're all consenting adults. But what exactly is the emotional angle of this track? Like you want this person, you need this person, but you're also still just like kind of a loner sex addict who probably can't really keep a relationship together and can't really string together a truly moving or poetic verse in this song that really kind of tributes this person that you seem to have in mind who you can't you can't lose you can't be without but that sense of longing and and necessity of this person in your life doesn't really come through not only in the plain ass lyrics that don't really get to the heart of anything uh, but also this is easily one of Abel's most phoned in vocal performances in a long time there's not really much in terms of a uh, Vocal acrobatics, not a whole lot of passion, not a whole lot of fire, no flames, no fury, not really anything. It's not particularly depressing or sad either. Uh, it just seems very, very middle of the road and safe. In a way, it kind of reminds me of a lot of the very disappointing and one-dimensional cuts that were on his Kissland uh, record. I mean, if uh, uh, there's anything I can say about uh, his last two full-length albums. Uh, they did try to push him out of his comfort zone, try some different stuff, and and put him in some positions where he was uh, uh, breaking a little ground uh, for the weekend project. But now it sort of seems like he's pulling back into something very safe, very predictable, um, on a song that is very, very, very by the numbers and uh, incredibly average. I mean, it may catch on a little bit because I think it is very easy to get into and digest, and there is a, a very uh, welcoming familiarity to what he's doing on this track, but there's really nothing all that special about this cut, and uh, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, over here next to my head is another video, another review that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next one, Anthony Fantano, uh, The Weekend Lost in the Fire, forever.